Sarah Ray. Welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are starting the second album of Iron Maiden. It is called Killers. We originally were going to do this album on our journey through the first six albums. We weren't going to do this album. We were going to skip it. But you guys really wanted me to listen to it along with these albums. So here we are. We are doing it. And then we are starting today and obviously... <laughs> And if you are new here and you haven't seen any of our other Iron Maiden reactions, we do have a Iron Maiden playlist where you can check out all of the reactions you've missed, which are just the first entire album. <laughs> it is linked in the description box down below. The first two songs we are listening to today are the first two songs, obviously. We go in order. So I'm really excited about the first song because of what it is called, and a little later why, but the two songs we are listening to to is the Ides of March and Wrathchild. So if you like the content I am creating, please subscribe, hit the bell notification so it is turned on, like, comment, and let's begin. So the first song we are going to listen to is the Ides of March. Let's begin. Okay, I think we should just go straight into Wrathchild, so let's just do it.
That was nice. They both were. All right, let me gather some of my thoughts here and uh, I'll be right back. The Ides of March. That's what we're going to start with first. And I said at the beginning that I was really excited to do this one in particular. And there is a reason for that. I'm big into history. I get it from my dad. We have watched a lot of History Channel together. Whenever I call him, he will tell me stuff that he has watched or read that he thinks I'll find interesting and vice versa. So to understand the meaning behind this track which this track this instrumental this opener whichever title you want to give it you have to understand the title of the track and the Ides of March is something being Italian is very important within my culture's history so a little history lesson if you guys don't mind for those who who might not understand and if I get any of this wrong please let me know respectfully okay we're gonna first break down the title of the song because this is going to explain what the instrumental is screaming out to you as it's being played. First, Ides. What does that mean? Well, if you go back to Roman Empire times, the Romans are where we get the 12-month calendar. 365 days, 12-month calendar that we go by now. But back then, they didn't go by that like we do. They used a different type of way of telling the time of month. They used three different names to describe the month. One for the beginning, one for the middle, and one for the end. And that's where Ides comes in. Ides, if I remember correctly, is the middle of the month, I believe. I may be wrong. It might be the beginning. It's one of the two. I do know that. Um, it's been a while since I looked into this. I may be mistaking it. And whenever I think it's one thing, it's, um, it's the opposite. So I'm thinking it's the middle. It's probably the beginning. But anyways, it is describing the time of the month by using three different names instead of doing what we do with individual days. So the name Ides of March talking about a certain particular time of the month. Another reason this title is very important is because the Ides of March is when Julius Caesar was assassinated and that's how we can sit here and look at kind of what this instrumental is kind of speaking to us and doing. So that's a little history lesson. It's actually very interesting, the whole three different times of the month. So ah, there's Ides, there's Nuns, I think is the other one, and, and there's one more, and I, I can't off the top of my head recall what it is. But if you know about this, I'd love to see who all in the comment section does know about this topic because, I mean, it, it is a part of my culture's history, so um, it is a cool thing to kind of touch on, you know? So, but, you know, and maybe if you guys want to, we I can do a dedicated video on, on this topic, his assassination, and there's even superstitions along with it in Italy and with Italians and stuff, so let me know if you guys would want to see that, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the meaning of this song. So that is what I think this instrumental, whatever you guys want to use to describe this track, um, I think that's the meaning behind it. Let's move on to my thoughts on the track itself. I, I definitely feel the intensity. I enjoy the pace of the song. It really is powerful, incredible opening for an album. It really sets the tone for what type of songs we're going to hear, type of music we're going to hear. It very much the first track always the opening track always sets the tone for the rest of the album tells you everything foreshadows everything you need to know at least that's how I feel about an opener I love the double guitar lead harmony that is there I think that is just brilliant it's beautiful and really done incredibly the bass 
oh really help elevate this track this is a gem this has got a memorable melody it is just art i think they just did this incredible and what they did for me with the drums really says a lot to their understanding not only of history but the talent that they hold because there's kind of a military-ish style very at least that's what i hear so and this track just screams to you everything that was felt that day with the romans when caesar was assassinated and what was felt and heard and and just everything that is why i really was looking forward to this track just to see how they played it out what they were going to do with this track especially because of the ides of march being its title now i'm gonna stop talking about that because honestly i could keep going <laughs> <laughs> and you guys probably know that. And let's move on over to Wrathchild. Hearing the song and looking at the lyrics here, to me, and I, I think people are going to maybe get something different. It's going to mean something different to everybody. But to me, I feel like he is talking about his life and not having his father in his life has really affected him. It's really angered him. It's made him a wrath child. And he is searching for him. And I think at the same time, maybe searching for the man within, within himself. And maybe that's going a little too far a little too deep but I think that's what we all do when we don't have a father in our lives I mean I, I could go deeper in that explanation but I think I'll leave it there I think some of you guys will understand what I meant by that but um I think that's what this song is about just explaining why he he's so angry and and upset and, and just terrorized you know what I mean so that's my thought on that let me know your opinion with this one I'm going to keep this one a little shorter I love the catchiness of the melody and the chorus also the vocals were just impeccable the note that he was holding oh were beautiful and the attitude that was put forth within his vocals to really push the narrative of that anger really gave it forth the storytelling and it's just incredible this song was pure fire okay i also enjoyed how it was quite bass centric and for me i feel like i heard a bit of zeppelin in this like some zeppelin influence and like maybe towards the middle section maybe it's just me let me know what you guys think about that and these lyrics are pure poetry i mean my mother was a queen my dad was never seen i was never meant to be if that don't resonate with people if that don't send chills down your spine i don't know what will i mean it's relatable it, it's people will understand and completely get where he is coming from and with that it makes it relevant and it's always going to be that makes it timeless because you didn't put this song at any time in the future, people are going to understand these lyrics and resonate with them. It, it's just incredible. So those are my thoughts on both of these songs. Let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.